Hello. Hi. Welcome back to the Essay Read channel. Um, vinyl update. Updating my vinyl. Uh, I collect records. If you watch the Shoo Shoo uh, reaction video, <laughs> then you'll know that I'm, I'm a bit of a degenerate when it comes to collecting vinyl. Um, but we ball, whatever. I just have a stack here of ones that I've gotten since September of last year. Um, and I figured I would just show them off in no particular order. First one is this Leah Senior box set that I got. Leah Senior, famously awesome folk singer from Australia. She's on a few King Gizzard albums, actually, which is really cool. She does vocals, but in her solo career, she does a bunch of really cute, awesome, wholesome, fantastic, beautiful folk music. And Flightless did this little box set of all the records that she put out. The first one being Summers on the Ground. It also had Pretty Faces, her second record, as well as a copy of Passing Scene. I actually have two of these. It came with a copy, and I already had a copy. I have the um, olive green version that uh, came out in 2020. This is the version that came with the box, is a little pinwheel, green, purple, and white. Pretty Faces um, had a bit of a pinwheel, blue and white. Very pretty. Uh, I'm also going to be um, putting some of these vinyl in polyethylene sleeves. Um, not these ones, because I don't really take this box set out that often. I kind of want to just leave it. Um, and here's Summers on the Ground. It's like black, has very faint white streaks in it. Um, but yeah, I, I don't really have the intention of taking these out that much. Box sets, I don't really, I don't really fuck with them that much because like, like I, I like them. I don't take them out and look at them very often because I'm usually just very afraid of like damaging the box. I know that's counterintuitive. The point of the box is to like protect the vinyl, but it's like, Next up, we have Deep in View by Cola. This is a really, really fantastic record that came out last year. A trio of French, or no, I think two of them are from Montreal. And the third guy is not the um, drummer from US Girls, I think. And it's just a clear, clear vinyl, cool uh, label, a colored one, and then a monochrome. This one I already have in polyethylene. I play this record a lot, specifically. Like, I, like I'll like i obviously stream it a lot, but I also, like, this is one of my, I don't know what it is about this vinyl. I, I have played it a lot since I got it. It just sounds really good. It's just a really good record. If you haven't listened to it, I really recommend it. Um, it kind of, in my opinion, recaptures uh, the early strokes career kind of like magic a little bit slightly and I'm, and I'm not gonna say it's like as good or as defining as like is this it like I wouldn't make that claim but I what I will say is it's like it's really good it's a really good record it has a similar kind of like angst about living a little bit um, but like the songs are super catchy yeah so check it out I have a copy of by the time I get to Phoenix by injury reserve this is a wild record if you've never heard it um, and you're not terminally online. I don't know if you'll fuck with it. It's like a solid, it's not, it's not translucent at all. Um, a solid red disc. Experimental hip hop. This album is wild. It's, it's, it's very strange, but not in like a creepy or weird way. You know what I mean? It's like strange, weird in like, I don't even know how you begin to make these songs like like I don't know how they put them together I don't know how like the the patience and intention you have to, to make something like this it's really cool it's fantastic um, the last record currently that is out that grogs will ever be on um, unless they put out some uh, posthumous stuff of him which I don't know if they would do that but it's a great record 
Really fantastic. I have next up something that I bought um, kind of out of like curiosity more than anything. We have uh, White Light from the Mouth of Infinity by Swans. I bought this because Swans records are very tricky to, to like come across and to find. I have never listened to this album, uh, save for a few tracks uh, in the past. And I thought they sounded really good. I think the cover is really <laughs> interesting and funny. And I kind of just wanted it for like the reason of like the scarcity of Swans albums. You know what I mean? Like I just, I you never know. Like I would love to be kind um, on vinyl. Will I ever find that shit ever again? No, probably not. For a reasonable price, definitely not. Um, unless Michael Giro represses it. And like, I don't know, he might, who knows. We have Food for Worms by Shame. Cool little post-punk rock album that came out this year. Really fantastic cover art, like one of my favorites of the year so far. Um, and really pretty, slightly translucent, slightly opaque purple disc. Just kind of see through a little bit. This is a good album. Uh, it's flawed, yeah. Um, it's I wouldn't say it's one of my favorite rock albums to come out in the past few years, but it's really good. Uh, I really dig it. Uh, Fingers of Steel is good. Six Pack, Adderall. Adderall is really fucking nice. Orchid, um, Burning by Design, All the People. I remember specifically earlier this year when All the People came out. That song really fucked me up. I was like, this is like a beautiful very splendid wonderful song to just give to yourself just kind of keep in your own mind you know what i mean all the people that you're gonna meet don't take yourself away from them you know what i mean because like you're, you are awesome everyone watching you're all awesome uh you're really cool and uh, you should stick around because so much more cool music will come out yay epic the next one we have In Tongues by Joji. This actually I have not opened yet. Um, and part of my doing this video was also opening some of these records that I just haven't. Sometimes like I'll, I'll buy a record and I just won't open it immediately. I don't know if that's weird, but like usually if it's the case of like, if I'm not going to listen to it right away and like I'm maybe busy or something like that, I'll just like put it in my shelf and then plan to open it someday um there like i remember like like during the pandemic i would do that and i would say to myself like oh when i can hang out with people maybe like someday we're hanging out we'll just like open a vinyl and it'll be cool and that has never happened so if you're watching this and we have the capacity to be in person ask me to if we can open a vinyl that i have because sometimes it's fun it's a nice little blue the thing about this pressing, um, it's not the deluxe version, so Plastic Taste and I Don't Want to Waste My Time are not on it. It's just Will He, Pills, Demons, Window, Bitter Fuck, and World Star Money. It's a really great album. Um, it's a little bit of a silly one to have on vinyl, I think, considering it's only six songs. But, uh, wow, this is a very influential album on me. Uh, really really special. I remember when this came out right when he was like I'm done um, Making filthy Frank I'm taking care of my health. And I'm gonna focus on music It was like really special to me because like I was in the middle of my degree And I was also too kind of like I really want to make music and stuff like that and he's really always inspired me to kind of like stick with it and try and do my best and Yeah, I'm kind of trying to emulate him nowadays in a few ways, which I don't know if you'd find that uh, endearing or annoying, but he's very inspiring. Next up, we have Lana Del Rey. Did you know that there's a tunnel under Ocean Boulevard? One of the greatest albums to come out this year so far. This is the alternate cover version. I can't remember if the label is like too sexy for YouTube. This one's sick. I mean, you can't really see it, but it's like green and like she's like, you know, the average world would maybe say is like, I can't show that, but like it's it's nice. Wow, beautiful record for 
wonderful album. Songs from like the female perspective about the female life. Um, obviously, Lana Del Rey herself being a very affluent, um, privileged person. Uh, that is one thing, but there are some facts of life based on certain um, demographics that will just always be um, a reality, regardless of uh, capital um, possession. Uh, and she, I think, goes over them really, really well on this album in a few ways. Um, very touching, very heart-wrenching at times. Um, beautiful record. It's a double, so I have to fucking sleeve both sides. It's like a beautiful green and like a very, very sweet pink, which is the S.A. Reed colors. It's the S.A. Reed pressing. She called me and asked me if she could do this, and I was like, yeah, sure. Um, but don't mention me, you know what I mean? I, I, I don't want, you know, I don't want to take anything from you. And she was like, okay. So this is actually very secretly the S.A. Reed pressing of Did You Know There's a Tunnel Under Ocean Boulevard. Uh, you heard it here. I have, I'm breaking my silence. Um, go listen to it. It's a good album. All right, Le Prochain is one that's going to kind of hurt to open, but I'm going to do it because I've been meaning to. This is Francis the Mute by the Mars Volta. The single version of it, the uh, record store day version. I waited three hours at Taz to get this, and I'm going to open it. I can't believe I'm doing this. I've had it all this time, and I just haven't opened it yet. I'm like a big baby, but I need to open it. I am a massive Mars Volta fan. Their music is supremely inspiring. Really interesting, intricate, fantastic music. Um, there is Cygnus, I would assume. Cygnus himself. Vismond Cygnus. And there's the disc. The lost fourth disc of Francis the Mute. Uh, supposed to be played before side A or after side C. Uh, it's not clear. I'm pretty sure, yeah. The fourth, the D side of Francis the Mute, I think, is just um, uh, an etching. I could be wrong about that. I can't remember. But yeah, the 14 minute song uh, describing the life and utter demise of. Our main character's mother and the titular character, Francis, uh, a nun who was unbelievably mistreated um, and taken away from her son. Beautiful album. Uh, this single is very, listening to it is like very, I don't know, it's tricky. It's tricky to listen to um, contextually when you understand what's happening. Next up, we have Ignore Grief. I have not opened this since I got it. Don't have to talk about it too, too much. It's, you know, good. Watch my review reaction of it if you haven't. <laughs> this is the early bird version from Polyvinyl, limited to 500 copies. This actually funny thing about it, since I won't, what I will say about this is actually nothing that I said in the video because, to go watch the video, but, I waited for this vinyl. It was in like, oh yeah, I saw the lyrics. I don't know, Ugh, scary. Eesh. Lyrics are fucked. Um, this album was like stuck in vinyl hell, have vinyl purgatory in Illinois. Oh my God, it's so much prettier in person. Look at that, that's so awesome. Sheeshers, bro. Look at that shit, that's nice. Yeah, I was stuck in vinyl purgatory. It got delivered to its destination, like, twice in Illinois. I don't live in Illinois, by the way. And I was like, why the fuck is it stuck there? And I, I, I actually got an email from Polyvinyl being like, Hey, yo, we fucked up somehow. We're sending... We're, you'll get your vinyl soon. It's not a big deal. Like, I'm fine with it. But, like, I was like, what the hell? It's a good album. Go listen to it. Or don't. I would not recommend this to pretty much anyone, <laughs> uh, but that does not make it bad. I just would not. This isn't even like the Ashushu album I would recommend to people. 
Um, it's just, I don't know. Unless you like soundtracks. Ignore grief. Just two more here, and then I'll wrap it up. I have the self-titled Vince Staples record from 2021. This is one of the greatest hip-hop albums of the 22 inches so far. Got the thingies. It's got space. Really awesome, super cool hip-hop album with Kenny Beats on the production all over it. Um, really splendid, lucid stories and depictions of life as a black person and just like a young person as well. Um, but specifically through the lens of like um, dealing with disproportionate economic states and how that uh, interacts with being also a minority. But then like the beats also slap, like it's insane. Like it's really, really good. I mean, a lot of the point of the album is to kind of just be realistic and honest about, you know, Vince's life, but then also just the realities are, are so potent within it. So I, I think it's like a truly masterclass hip hop album. He did a great job. I spin it often. <laughs> Go listen to it if you haven't. Just one more vinyl and then I will call it there. I have Billy Woods and Kenny Siegel, Maps. This is a record that I am absolutely in love with. It's such a good album. Billy Woods being one of the most inspirational hip hop artists to me personally. I just, I love his flow. I love his word choice, his vocabulary. I love his sense of humor. I love his realism. Um, I love his tenacity to do his own thing. Um, and how unique he is. Kenny Siegel on the beats. Um, They're fucking awesome. Really interesting. This is a good record. This is a contender to be one of the best of 2023, I think. Uh, I really, really dig it. Um, beautiful orange and all that good stuff. I'm going to put this away. Hello. This is Editing Steve. Um, video Steve is gone. <laughs> I deleted the last three minutes of footage I had. I just, it's gone. I just straight up deleted it. Uh, it's gone. Can't get it back. It's deleted past the point of recovering. That's how deleted it is. And I feel like a goose. I straight up straight up turkey what i was going to say in the last little chunk of the video was essentially along the lines of thank you i hope you enjoyed yourself <clears throat> i hope you got some recommendations of some stuff to check out or i hope i validated your feelings in thinking that a record is good because another person has it and also likes it um is there anything you're listening to that you came out or that you bought recently that you're really digging? Recommend it to me. All that good stuff. I hope I have become less of a, a goose and not delete things before I know for sure that I have it. It's a long story. I just, I don't want to explain it. Bye.